In the 1970s, Argentina sought to modernize its armored vehicle fleet, replacing aging World War II era equipment like the M4 Shermans and M3 M9 half tracks. This led to a collaboration with the German company Tyson Henschel, later Rain Metal, to develop a medium class combat tank and an infantry fighting vehicle IFV that could meet the evolving needs of the Argentine Army. Out of this partnership, the tank Argentino Mediano TAM and the Vehiculo de Comate Transporte de Personal VCTP were born, both entering service in the early 1980s. The VCTP is the infantry fighting vehicle counterpart to the TAM medium tank, both based on the chassis of the German Army's Martyr IFV, introduced in 1971. The Argentine government initially ordered 500 units across both vehicle classes, but budget constraints reduced the procurement to 200 TAM tanks and 216 VCTP IFVs, as recorded in 2013. Despite the reduced numbers, the VCTP remains a crucial element of the Argentine Army's mechanized forces. Design work on the VCTP began in 1977, and its construction was undertaken by TAMPS, a Buenos Aires-based company. By leveraging the established and reliable Martyr chassis, Argentina could produce a cost-effective, battle-proven IFV with minimal developmental risk. Weighing in at 31 tons, the VCTP retains the basic shape and layout of the Martyr. Its design prioritizes ballistic protection with a well-sloped glassy plate and angled sides, while the squared rear and flat roof accommodate its turret and provide firing ports for embarked infantry. Like the Martyr, the VCTP has a front-mounted engine, forcing the driver's position to the left of the hull. This engine placement allows for easy maintenance, with access provided by a large, hinged door on the front right side. The vehicle's suspension consists of six double-tired road wheels, a front-mounted drive sprocket, and a rear idler. There are three return rollers to guide the tracks along the upper span. Notably, the VCTP lacks side skirt armor, which limits its point defense against anti-armor weapons but makes the vehicle lighter and faster. Inside, the VCTP can carry six infantrymen in addition to its crew of three, a driver, a commander, and a gunner. Troops enter and exit via a powered door at the rear, designed to facilitate quick deployment. The VCTP is armed with a Rainmetal RH-202 20mm autocannon mounted in a fully traversing turret. This weapon allows for 360-degree engagement and provides firepower against both ground targets and light armor. For added firepower, the vehicle can mount an FN MAG 7.62mm machine gun, which is useful for anti-infantry and anti-aircraft roles. The vehicle carries up to 880 rounds of 20mm ammunition for its primary weapon, along with 1,500 rounds for the secondary machine gun. Smoke grenade launchers, two banks of four, are positioned on each side of the hull, allowing the VCTP to create a smoke screen when needed. Like the TAM tank, the VCTP is powered by an MTU MB833 K506 cylinder diesel engine, generating 720 horsepower. This gives the VCTP a top road speed of 47 miles per hour and an operational range of 370 miles, providing it with excellent mobility in the field. The VCTP has seen deployment in various military and peacekeeping operations. Notably, it was part of Argentine peacekeeping forces during the 1990s conflict in Yugoslavia, operating under the United Nations. For these missions, the vehicles were repainted in the distinctive UN white with UN lettering to signify their peacekeeping role. The VCTP remains a vital part of Argentina's armored vehicle inventory, over four decades since its introduction. Its design, based on the German Martyr, provides a blend of proven reliability, mobility, and firepower. With its ability to transport troops while offering substantial fire support, the VCTP continues to be a valuable asset in Argentina's military operations.